Hey! You might have once looked through someone else's code and seen this. Is that a string? What is that extra ampersand? And is it just me or is the highlighting different? That means it probably does something different, right? But what? That's because that string is not a string, but a number. In this video, I'm gonna explain what string names are and how they might not be worth as much as you think. What are string names? Let's say you have two strings, hello world and hey john. When you compare them, what do you think goes on under the hood? For us humans, it's pretty easy because we can visually compare them and see but computers can't do that. They have to go through every character in each string and check if they're the same by comparing their ASCII values. As you can see, computers are better at comparing numbers than strings. In this example, we can see that the strings differ from the third character. But if the strings are similar like here, we'll have to do extra work to find that one small difference at the end. This is where string names step in. The thought is that these string comparisons can get quite expensive with all the looping, especially if we do them a lot in our program. Since computers are so great at comparing numbers, wouldn't it be nice if each string was its own object? This means that the string is defined only once in memory, and all references to that string, for example variables or really anything that uses it, just need to store the memory address where it's defined, which is just a number. Just look at how much less work we have to do. Plus, it saves memory because we don't need to keep multiple copies of the same string. The downside though is that string names are immutable. You can create new ones, but you can't change them without converting back to regular strings first, which can get pretty expensive. This makes them great for static things like IDs, but not so much for things that change a lot, like a text input. So in theory, this makes string names pretty fast, and distinguishing them with the regular strings can make a noticeable difference, right? So I set out to see just how much faster they are. In a new Godot project, let's make two separate tests. One for strings, and one for string names. In this run once function, we'll count the occurrences of a random item over a set number of iterations. In this bench once function, we'll measure how long that took, let's say over 1 million iterations. And we'll also return the time this took in microseconds, yes, microseconds, for best precision. And good, it works. Now. Let's do the same but with string names instead of strings. The conversion is as simple as search and replace and adding ampersands behind strings. Now let's put these two tests together so we can compare them easier. We'll make one root node with both tests as children. Let's run both tests and print the time difference. And the results are worse by 0.16 seconds. Wait, what? That's weird. Let's make another benchmark then. We'll run it 100 times and copy that over to the other script. And this time, it's better by 1.3 seconds over 100 million iterations. On average, it's not even faster than a tenth of a microsecond per operation. In disbelief, I rerun the tests multiple times, 
changing the numbers and string lengths around. It did seem to speed up a bit on shorter strings, but other than that, I only got similar results. There's probably many different reasons why string names are so disappointing. When a new string name is created, it is compared with pre-existing ones to check if it already exists. If it does, it's set to the memory address of that string. If it doesn't, a new entry is created. This is what I think is taking time and possibly hurting performance. In conclusion, using string names in appropriate situations can make a difference, though not as much as you may think. Since creating string names is what takes the most time, for now, it's better to use them in constants and avoid creating new ones in a loop. So far, in my experience, the performance gained from string names has been pretty negligible. Who knows, if someone plays their game for 19 days straight, you might save 1.3 seconds. I hope you learned something, see you next time.